Welcome to Old Town San Diego, the birthplace of California. Old Town was an important religious, political, and military center for the region, dating back to the mid-1700s. There is a blend of Spanish, Mexican, and American influence seen in the buildings and culture. Cosmopolitan Hotel has a long history that spans over 175 years. Originally the home of Juan Bandini, an early San Diego settler, the Cosmo, as it was called, was especially popular in the 1870s and was the fine restaurant and lodge for San Diego's elite. The hotel closed in 1888 and has served as an olive canning factory, offices, and a hotel. It was most recently restored to its splendor in 2010 and functions as a hotel with 10 guest rooms, a restaurant, and two saloons. Next door to the Cosmopolitan is the Old Town San Diego State Historic Park, which features many historic sites and museums. The Mexican and American influence can be seen here, adobe homes and prefabricated wood frame buildings that were brought by ship from New England. The Johnson House is one example of a prefabricated home. Days, bullfights, gambling, and other amusement. The Colorado House was originally a hotel, but over the years it provided office space for the San Diego Herald, a surgeon, a jeweler, and a hairdresser. The building was lost in an 1872 fire and was reconstructed in 1992. It now houses the Wells Fargo Museum. Casa de Estudio is a U-shaped adobe building built around 1825 and was the home of Don Jose Antonio de Estudio, a Spanish aristocrat. Like so many other buildings, it served various purposes over the years, such as a business office, schoolroom, and chapel. It is one of the oldest examples of Spanish architecture in California and was restored in 1968 when it was acquired by the State Park Service. General store, a theater, and a courthouse. Eventually, Thomas's wife, Anna, returned and died in the house in 1913 followed by her son, Francis, who died in the house in 1914. Her daughter, Lillian, lived in the house until her death in 1953. The Travel Channel ranks the Whaley House the number one most haunted house in the United States. Over 400 early San Diegans lie here, including some of the most famous. As the town grew, some graves were relocated or paved beneath the sidewalk and street. Heritage Park is a 7.8 acre part of town dedicated to preserving San Diego's Victorian architecture. After World War II, these buildings were threatened with demolition and were moved from their original sites in downtown San Diego to Heritage Park. In 2010, the buildings were renovated on the outside and the insides will be renovated in the future. The men of the Mormon Battalion are honored for their willingness to fight for the United States as loyal American citizens. Their march of some 2,000 miles from Council Bluffs, Iowa to California is one of the longest military marches in history. Their participation in the early development of California, including building a courthouse in San Diego and making bricks and building houses in Southern California, contributed to the growth of the West. The Presidio of San Diego began as a rudimentary stockade 
and was eventually replaced by stronger adobe buildings. The war and political conflict caused the Presidio to be abandoned. The Serra Museum was built in 1929 and is the main feature of Presidio Park. The museum houses many important objects related to the area's Spanish and Mexican heritage. The Serra Cross was erected in 1913 and built from pieces of brick and tile that were found at the abandoned site. The cultural, religious, and historical influence of Old Town resonates to this day.